Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to get one of the biggest SBCs of the entirety of Team of the Season today in FIFA 23, and that is another guaranteed SBC, this time, of course, for the Premier League. We're all going to get a chance to pack a Premier League Team of the Season today, and it's not going to be that expensive. We'll take a look at that, how much it was last year, and how it's going to impact the market. Will fodder prices actually go up for this SBC today, as a few of them went up yesterday for the content that we had. Will they go up further? Could it be a good time to sell that lower tier fodder? Will high tier fodder move? We'll discuss all of that today and how will it impact these TOTS cards. In yesterday's video, we talked about investing a lot of them. I am still invested. Prices still are looking pretty good, but they're not going to stay low for long after this SBC comes out today, in my opinion. And we had the first leaks for Bundesliga team of the season, which actually look crazy. We're super confused about one player in particular that's getting an SBC. So a lot to talk about today. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's look back at yesterday's content. I actually already did the SBC from yesterday. We finally got one of the leaked players that we were looking for. Ali Sun. We got his team of the season SBC. He's only about 70, 80,000 coins to do. It's not that bad. It's a very easy craft. Not the biggest upgrade, but a solid card nonetheless. And as we expected, we talked about it when we first saw this league, goalkeeper prices on this game are down horrendous. Specifically, some of those more expensive mid to high tier goalkeepers. Team of the Year Courtois dropped off a bunch yesterday. Um, some of your other icon goalkeepers like Van der Sar. Uh, I think about guys like Casillas. They are down very, very bad in price. 300k for Courtois is down so much. Keep an eye on some of these goalkeepers because especially some of the icons, like I was looking at Trophy Titans Casillas yesterday. If you think about it, we've got a leaked center back SBC who is Spanish to be coming out here pretty soon in Laporte. So if that could be, uh, that could be a card that could potentially link uh, to a new Laporte, this Casillas, he's just really, really cheap in general. So watch out. Remember last time when we had the Ederson footballers, goalkeepers dropped back down, but then a couple weeks later, a few of them rebounded back up. So maybe a couple cards you could pick up from those big panic cells there from the goalkeeper, Allison Becker, SBC that we had yesterday. But again, not super crazy. We also yesterday had the EFL TOTS upgrade coming in at the exact same price that it was last year so not really anything super crazy yesterday but with Allison Becker having a lot of hype you can take a look uh, and see here that 78,000 coins for a new TOTS goalkeeper card this first special that he has had this entire year 2,700 upvotes it is really nice especially personally having Van Dyke in the team some Liverpool players that you maybe need to link up and get on chemistry the Brazilian and Liverpool Premier League links are very nice for this card but it's a goalkeeper right it's not that exciting but inside of his SBC specifically Fodder did end up going up yesterday because there was a lot of demand for this and a lot of demand for this 84 rated squad for the EFL or sorry 83 rated squad for the EFL tots uh, with I think 185 player is that what it was? Two 85s and an 83 rated squad, and that made the 85s go up on the market a good amount. Now, if you guys bought any of these, maybe at 6,000 coins or below, yesterday these guys kind of spiked around the 7,000, 7,500 coin range, and some of them are back down now at about 6.7K. I would expect to see these cards rising back up a little bit today, and especially with the upcoming content today, we have to keep a close watch on the SBC fodder. But again, regardless, yesterday, not that crazy of a day in terms of the SBC content we got. Quick update from my account personally. I did finish weekend league. I know a lot of you guys were asking. I was on my 13th win going for 14 and I lost in the game. So I choked 14 wins for the first time this year, but we had Harry Kane in our reds and we had Casemiro. So not the best of reds, nothing super insane from the packs, but just a little disappointing to not hit 14 wins, but nonetheless, we'll be going forward this next weekend regardless. So Looking forward into today, it's a really big day on Wednesday content, as we talked about in the intro, because we're expecting another guaranteed toss today. You kind of, you guys kind of get the schedule. You know how it's kind of going to go. But today, it's all about the Premier League Team of the Season cards. And a lot of these cards, of course, people are going to want to do an SBC to try to pack, right? Because you've got big boys in here like Holland. You've got Saka. You've got Sun. And the moments cards, we do believe, will be packable. And they will supposed to be they are supposed to be packable in today's pack. Unlike last week, where we still have compensation looming for the community tots guaranteed pack today's pack will include the moments cards which besides reese james you get gentleman son or you get rafael varan and you're excited again that pack code is updated to say 
contains a team of the season moments or a team of the season player from the Premier League tot squad. I do believe this is the pack we're going to be getting today in this game. Now, last year in FIFA 22, since they've been basically copying and pasting the requirements every single year over year, what are we going to expect? Well, last year, this was an 86 rated squad and a team of the season. It was only 80 thousand coins to do now if we take a look at 86s right now 86s are about 8,000 coins a piece so an 86 rated squad plus a team of the season would probably be right around in that range uh, about 70 to 80,000 coins to complete that SBC maybe 90k if the 86s were to go up a little bit especially if you look at team of the season cards being around 20,000 coins if you take a look on the market all Tots cards, I believe, are like 19 to 20,000 coins. They could have a bit of a rise today. That's the first part of the market that I would keep a close eye on are the actual Tots cards because, of course, none of them are lower than 87, and a lot of them are 88, 89, and 90 at this very cheap range. So keep an eye on these cards today. They could be going up in price a couple thousand coins. That's an investment we talked about earlier in the week. Will other fodder rise beside it? I mean, guys, let's be honest. Everybody is going to be doing this Tots pack today just because you have the chance at packing somebody like Holland, like Rashford, like Salah. Now, is it going to be very, you know, probable that you pack one of those cards? No. You remember the community guaranteed last week, right? What are the cards you're going to see out of this SBC today? You're going to be seeing a lot of Ramsdale, a lot of Trippier, a lot of Reese James, Odegaard, Zinchenko. But, you know, you'll have some packs in there with maybe a Saliba and some Kane and a Casemiro or two. And then you'll have some people that get lucky and maybe hit a Ruben Diaz and a very, very few number of people that'll hit one of the big boys. But still, it's a pack that everybody is going to do today. And besides those cheap Tots cards, I do believe an 86 rated squad on this game would probably make cards in the 84, 85, and 86 range go up a little bit. Bit. Again, think about it. Everybody is going to be turning in an 87, 88, or 89 rated TOTS card. And what you're going to have to do is fill in the rest of that squad with 84s and 85s and a couple of 86s to get that 86 rating. So 85s last night were probably the best investment. 84s right now at 2.6K are looking really low. Although that one there looks like it's not actually 2.6K. Yeah, this one is Jekko. So if you take a look at yesterday, he was up at 3.2K. And I think with the weekend league rewards that are being opened and paid out and everybody's finishing the weekend league last minute right now, you're seeing these 84s kind of dip down in price. I think they will go up a little bit today on Wednesday and into the pack of the content drop with this guaranteed SBC coming. I would expect to see those going up a bit. So if you want to try to do some quick flips there and some trades, maybe 84s and 85s are going to go up the most today. Today for a bit of a fodder rise but if you be if you buy those cards or if you have invested in those cards i would sell them an hour or so after the sbc is dropped because that is where you're going to see the peak amount of the hype on these cards i mean every single time we've seen fodder rise in the past week anyway it's always good to sell in the peak right you see sule and these guys were 7.1 7.2k now they're back down under 7,000 coins especially with um you know you've got rivals rewards that are coming tomorrow you've got marquee matchups coming tomorrow on thursday I would take the cash on this fodder. If we do get more player SBCs, there's a potential, again, for a player SBC today. That could move fodder up even more. But I would sell that fodder in the hype about an hour or so after content. Just take the money because that's where the most demand will be as everybody's trying to go out and do this Premier League TOTS upgrade to pack the blues of course good luck to everybody opening that pack make sure you got all your pack theories going nose pack bronze squad all that stuff equipped so you can get your best potential pack pull now how is it going to impact the team of the season cards on the market this is why we started investing already right this is why we talked about last night's video to prepare and to maybe buy early and prices have gotten really low uh last night they were really low as we look at prices right now uh, in a late night heading into wednesday they're really low again guys i don't think they're going to stay this low for too much longer especially on those cards we were talking about the middle to top tier. I bought three Hyunmin Suns last night for 570k and below. And right now, what is he? He's 580,000 coins. He was 570 like 20, 30 minutes ago. I think these prices are going to start rising as early as early this morning because you're going to see people get their weekend league rewards. You're going to go out, have coins, and start to buy these cards. So if you invested early, GGs, I think that uh, is going to end up being a really good opportunity. To, to make some profits on some of these TOTS cards, especially on, like we talked about, the middle to higher tier. Just kind of, again, picture what we saw last week with the community TOTS, right? We saw guys like Rodrigo, Alexis Sanchez, Gabriel Jesus, they started going up even in the morning on Wednesday as rewards were paid out, coins hit the market, and people, of course, 
went out and started to buy those cards. That's going to happen today. But what also is going to happen today is they're going to probably go up further after content after the SBC is released. I remember it perfectly last year. There were guys like Ruben Diaz, who was actually like really low rated last year and like 200k. Trent Alexander Arnold Tots last year, Diogo Jota last year. Those lower tier cards, they go up into 6 p.m. content. The guaranteed SBC comes out today and they will drop. And then they'll go back up a bit again. So guys like on the lower tier, Harry Kane, Bruno Guimaraes, Casemiro, and then of course your kind of lower tier cards, Zinchenko, Odegaard, Reese James, those guys will have a dip. They might rise up a little bit into content today, but at the content when the SBC is released, these guys will probably have a dip in price for about 10, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, and then they will start to go back up as people who wanted to buy them and maybe didn't pack them go back out onto the market and buy these cards. So especially the lower to middle tier that's going to get packed a lot today. If you want a Harry Kane, a Casemiro, Bruno Guimaraes uh, in your team, I would maybe, if you get a really low price early this morning, buy at that really low price, but then you have another window to buy during the SBC's release when it's kind of being dropped and there's a little bit of panic on this game. So that's a lot of talk about this SBC, but that's why we invested ahead of time on those middle to top tier cards because those prices are probably going to start low this morning, go up, and then go up even further later on. The biggest buy that I have made, I bought a Mohamed Salah Team of the Season card for 2.62 million coins. I know it's a really, really big investment, but he's really, really rare. He's still 2.6 mids. I really could see this guy being 2.8 mil tonight, and I would make that a really, really nice quick flip there. We saw this exact same movement yesterday, like we mentioned with the EFL Tots cards, right? Um, I actually bought an Akpom for 600 and. Uh, 15,000 coins and uh, he went all the way up to 700k right now he's still about 650 but there was some really nice rises on the top to your cards by the way if you have any of these efl team of the season cards they could fluctuate upwards in price today after rewards but do not hold these cards for that much longer because once we get towards friday and these cards uh, are going to stay in packs you are going to see their prices drop very considerable amounts as they're going to be in packs for the lightning rounds and everything else going on this Friday in this game. So be very careful if you're holding these. They should be okay to hold today, but into the weekend, I would not do that. So just be very careful if you're looking at any of these cards for a team to try out or anything along those lines. So that's kind of everything happening today around the guaranteed pack. I know it's a lot to talk about, but that's a really big pack, right? Now, what else could we get today? We finally had another player SBC yesterday, and the other player that we have leaked still that has not been dropped yet on this game is Laporte. We're still looking for that Laporte flashback SBC, which is again in yesterday's video why we were very careful to talk about guys like Saliba and guys like Ruben Diaz and Varane, even the center backs that are in this promo team. Yes, they could be going up a little bit today as the market rises, but if we get a really good value Laporte card today as an SBC, these cards are going to take a hit. Now, I will say this. There's a flip side of this. If we do not get a Laporte SBC today, Saliba, Ruben Diaz, these cards are going to absolutely explode because everybody has been waiting to buy a Saliba, to buy a Ruben Diaz, and maybe even Varane for the Laporte SBC to come out and hopefully crash their prices. These cards will be a close watch today if we do not get that Laporte SBC because after that and after the guaranteed SBC, they will absolutely explode. I mean, Saliba for 335k that I'm looking at right now, like that is very, very cheap for this card as well. It's even tempting to buy even knowing there could be a Laporte SBC today. And that's even a 10K undercut right there. So just keep an eye out for these guys studying the center backs because they could move a lot on this game as well. But of course, if Laporte is a really big juice card, and is really good value, has really good stats, he could create some panic on center backs throughout the rest of this game as well. Now, also what we're going to get today is silver stars, and it's going to be for XP. So make sure you look at the silver market. Meta silvers rise every single week because people go out and do the silver stars. Last week, of course, we had the Air Divisi guy um, inside of here. I don't know where silver stars is at. Am I in the right spot? I don't even know. Uh, silver stars, whether it's in milestones or objectives, I can't even find it right now. Thought it was in milestones, but regardless, um, watch out for a Silver Stars objective dropping today. And I believe that it would probably be, oh, there it is. Yeah, it was Air Divisi last week. It's probably going to be EFL this week, and it might be Phil Jagielka. That was a leak from one of our accounts uh, earlier in the week. Um, it was leaked as an actual SBC, but that could potentially be our Silver Star today. It's not a guarantee, just the potential, because he, of course, is from Stoke in uh, the championship. So, uh, that could be something that we see today on this game. 
and uh, that could be a nice Silver Star card. So watch out for that. And the Laporte and the Guarantee, that's kind of today's content. Now, talking a little bit more about the market, prices are still very low. And like I mentioned a couple times, I do expect to see some things rising up into today, which is why I'm very interested in taking a look at some of these cards because whether it's Team of the Seasons from the Premier League or some of these, actually, this Brownhill card right here, again, at 260,000 coins, I sold him at 200 and 90k yesterday after the uh, guaranteed EFL SBC was released. So I'm kind of looking at this right now and saying, hey, that's pretty cheap. I sold Tella almost at 170 as well. So the fact that he's back down now, Flippin says he is 148. That's a pretty low price for him too. I'm going to keep an eye on a few of these cards. They might be going up today. I'm going to keep an eye on any of these team of the seasons from the Prem as well that I could still afford and, and potentially make a, a good flip on like Saliba. I'll risk it on a Saliba here if I'm going to go um, at this price of 300 and what was it? 335 K I would risk it for a 335 to, to hope that he would go up a little bit more today. So just watch out for that today. Slight market rise. We saw it last Wednesday. Again, it's just the normal like Monday rewards rise, but it kind of happens on Thursdays because whenever people get rewards and coins paid out, they go onto the market and they do buy cards with those. Now, also we mentioned in yesterday's video, Bundesliga out of pack specials. Some of those cards are starting to rise up a bit more, especially because we've had a couple of leagues, which we want to look at here in just a second. Uh, Oop Makano still around the same price. We looked at like Rickon, right? Rickon was 27 or 26,000 coins in the video when we looked at him. These investments, if you bought them, you're just holding, right? You're waiting for the rise to keep happening as we get closer and closer to the Bundesliga team this season. I know a lot of people are investing in some of those Dortmund links and some of those German links after some of the leaked SBCs that we have as well. Timo Werner was like 80K. I believe he's now, yeah, upwards of almost 90. Yeah, 90,000 coins for Timo Werner. So he's starting to rise up on this market as well. So just keep a very close eye on those. And hopefully today the upgrade pack weight turns up a little bit more. You might be like, Nate, who'd you pack? The counter's up to 16. Um, I was actually able to pack another Ramsdale, lovely Enzinchenko. So I'm still building upgrade packs. You can see here. Got a lot of golds. Golds are probably going to go down a bit today, I would imagine, with the release of rewards. I was picking up golds on bid, actually, for like 950. But golds were at 1.5K. They were all 1.5K yesterday. And you, as you can see right now, people are definitely getting their rewards. 1.1. So this is a great opportunity. And I'm probably going to try to spend some time here buying these at 1,000 coins if I possibly can. Uh, because the supply is kind of kicking in right now. And these cards are dropping down a little bit. It could be a really good time to stock up some uh, gold rares to do some more upgrade packs if that is something that you are wanting to do today on this game. So that's kind of everything going on today in this game. I know a little bit of a shorter video, but I mean, hey, today's the guaranteed tots day, right? Wednesdays are all for that. And hopefully we do get that Laporte SBC. That would be super duper nice. Other than that, we're looking forward to Bundesliga team this season. Oh, I can't not talk about Bundesliga team this season leaks. How did I almost forget about this? Just a little bit extra here at the end. We've had a few leaks. We talked about it a lot yesterday on stream. I want to talk about it really quick here on the video. And Cuckoo, this is the crazy one. And Cuckoo is added to come as an SBC during Bundesliga team of the season. He's already got an SBC that's still in this game. The foot birthday. This is so confusing. I really don't know if EA is pulling one over here on foot sheriff. Uh, because him added as an SBC, it also doesn't sound like EA. Because this would sound like a card that's going to be added into packs to help sell packs but uh, i really don't know what's going on here because an sbc for two players at the same time or two sbcs for the same players sorry at the same time just does not seem right and that does not seem like something that ea would normally do so if this were to be an sbc he would definitely be very expensive um, and I just, I don't see it, man, but we'll have to see. We still are a couple days away. We'll probably get some more information on that soon, but this would be a crazy card. I could see EA doing something like not giving him a five-star weak foot, like making him five-star, four-star. And then, you know, that would be a way they could like disappoint here, right? But the Path to Glory version of Nkunku is down big time because of this league there. We're just very curious to see what happens with that. Marco Royce, another SBC league. Guys, the SBCs for Bundesliga, I mean, just with Royce, if we believe that as a one-for-one -one take, that is a nice SBC card. If they were to give him five-star skills, that could be a very, very nice SBC player right there for Bundesliga team this season. He would link so well to a lot of the other German and Dortmund players that are definitely going to be in the team of the season squad. And then the other league that we have right now for Bundesliga Tots is Goretzka as a Tots moments player he was not in the voting 
but he is getting a Tots Moments card. That kind of gives me like the Sun slash Varan vibes. It's like a W Tots Moments player um, instead of the L's that we had during community team this season. So that's kind of cool to look forward to and to see there. There are some other leaks floating around, but I'm going to wait for Sheriff for FIFA Romania for kind of our trusted leaker guys to post more of those. We're probably going to get more Bundesliga leaks today. So watch out on Twitter and uh, we'll be talking about those, of course, in tomorrow's video if we do see them. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. Good luck with your Prem Tots guaranteed. We're going to be opening them on stream today. If you want to check it out, link is down below in the description. But if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foto Count. See you in the stream today. Peace out.